Welcome to Tunks and Tales, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Butlington Minehead, a 2014 Coral UK Open, and fresh from a tight 9-7 win against Justin Pike. We have Dave Chisnell. How do you feel that one, Dave? Oh, I feel great after that after that game. I was I got in a good lead and he just kept pushing back. Um, in 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 the get in the last days of the game, I was just pulling and snatching. Probably could have got a rhythm, but I'm not blaming that. I, I, end up winning the games, so I'm happy with that. Five one up, eight five up, you're, you're, you're coasting and all of a sudden, eight six, eight seven, and he has three darts to make it eight all, but you hit a crack in one seven four to, to, lead, to leave 16. Yeah, I hit the one, I had one, and like I said, one nighter, I hit the one seven four and I thought, it gives me a little, little knock at this, I, I won't miss, and he, and he did, he gave me a chance, he gave me a chance in, in early in the match. But we both give each other chances, he took his chances, I took mine. So I took up some good finishes early on. But it never goes away. No, no. The thing is, with, with your game, Dave, you've, again, la uh, last night in, in the Premier League, even though it looked like you was out of the leg against Raymond, a fantastic 180, puts pressure on the other player, he misses exactly what happened last night, exactly what happened uh, tonight, and in, in you checked out. Yeah, yeah, um, last night was great, yeah. Just, just a bit disappointed. I'm, I'm missing big numbers, never mind the trebles and that. But the 180 last night was good. Yeah. And same again in that leg there, the 174. It just put pressure on the other player and he's thinking then. Yeah. It up, so I was happy when that went in and it was just, just get a bit of luck and get a, yeah. get a shot at your, your finish. And I did. I wouldn't like to go on at all. No, no. Not the way I was playing the last three legs, three, four legs. <laughs> I'm thinking one leg, I couldn't hit a treble. <laughs> No, you're right. In fact, even though it was uh, sort of Justin's home crowd, it was like Chizzy Mania in there, and yeah. they were rooting for you in there. Got a few people out there. Yeah. We've got all the freedom out there. <laughs> Seen them, the yellow shirts, it's, laughing. It's always good. So the UK Open, Dave, obviously a couple of years ago, um, I think you made the semi-final. Uh, you lost against, against Robert, so good memories there. I think you beat Raymond and, and Simon and that. So you know your game's up for it. Down at Butlins is different. How do you feel about... Uh, how do you feel about all, all that? Who just another game of darts? I just turn up and flip throw them, and if they go in, they go in. I'd rather play at uh, Bolton. It's all it's all just packed in. <laughs> you get here, you, you just you're just walking for miles to so find the place where you're going. <laughs> so, and I've I've not really had a good 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 competition here. I like, get beat first round that time, yeah. and I won that one without getting there. That's it now. Yeah, that's it. Build on that. I was just about to say a nice easy draw for the, for the next round, um, for the fourth frame, but there's probably no easy draws there, is there? Nope, no easy draws. Just take one game as it comes and best man wins on the night. Thank you, Dave. Well, thanks for joining us. That's Dave Chizzy Chisnell. My name's Paul Starr, and that was Tunks and Tales. Keep you with the sharp end of world darts.